Hi, I'm Tim Kelly from Montgomery Investment Management and welcome to this week's video insight. Well, as we record this video, the Australian equity market and the Australian dollar have fallen pretty sharply in recent days and we've seen some dramatic moves on international equity markets as well. One of the features of the recent sell-off has been its uniformity. Shares in a broad range of sectors have been affected in a similar way. And that seems to reflect a drive by investors to get out of equities and into cash by selling pretty much anything they can. So as an investor, how, you, how should you think about what's currently happening in the equity markets? Well, as usual, we don't offer much insight into what might happen in the short term, and we don't think it's very helpful for investors to focus too much on what the uh, short term changes in the uh, market might be. But there are a couple of things that we think are, are quite useful. And one of them is to be very aware of how your emotions can affect decision making at a time like this. As humans, we seem to be hardwired to experience the pain of losses more than we experience the pleasure of gains. And so a 2% decline in asset prices can feel much more significant than a 2% increase. To put it in context, the ASX 300 index is now back to the levels that we saw in mid-February which is not a huge fall in the context of the rise that we've seen over a period of time. And to us, it's not yet apparent that value has started to emerge in the market. However, if indiscriminate selling continues, and we can't tell if it will, but if it does, then it's likely that some very high quality businesses will start to look quite cheap. And if you can keep your wits about you at a time like that, then over the long term, you can do very, very well. So our advice for the time being is to try not to get caught up in the short-term news cycle of equity markets falling into the red and try to stay focused on the fundamentals, which to us is always trying to buy very, very good quality businesses when you see them trading at a discount to their intrinsic value. That's it for this week. Uh, we'll be back with more insights next week. And in the meantime, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter.